Ladies and gentlemen, I have to be honest with you, this is not one of those melodies that I could play to you starting from the 15th note. Really, I can only play it from the first note. So what follows is going to be entertaining to say the least. But I can show you the rough idea. So it starts with that kind of idea where the two hands are mirroring each other. And for each pair of notes, this hand is leading. So if we look at the tapping lick, uh, it will be easy to lose track of this, but uh, try to bear in mind that, that you should be able to squeeze six of these notes into each beat. So you've got da 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 So let's try and play the first bit. This is two hands mirroring each other. So it's that kind of shape. And as ever, I'm wasting one of my best fingers by using it to store the pick. Um, if you have a better idea, go for it. But for me, it's mostly these fingers. And then... That's an odd bit. Because a lot of it looks like fourth intervals or something close to fourth intervals, so I'm having to climb towards the lower strings using the same pair of fingers for a lot of it. And then this. And then... So more stacked fourth kind of ideas. You might like that on its own. It's quite intervallic and amusing. Um, Ah. That's weird. It feels like the hands change string at the wrong time, but that's how the tune goes. So. That's more mirroring. That's simple enough, that bit. That's some pentatonic shapes on each hand there. Not quite the same thing on the B string, it's... And then a big pile of fourths and fifths at the end. regards to this hand, I'm not really one of these T.J. Helmerich, Jennifer Batten, full-on eight-finger tapping people. I can't do that. Um, a big part of what I do is about trying to get a big tone and trying to make every note sound as, as huge as I can. And what seems to work with my hand is if I use two fingers at any given time. And the two pairings which keep cropping up are the middle and ring fingers together, or the middle and little fingers together. And those two pairs seem to work really well. Um, the ring and, mid and little finger together will never be as good. I will try and avoid that pair. Um, because I don't think anyone's going to give me an award for trying to fret two notes with those fingers. If there's a way to uh, rearrange everything so I can use those two or these two, generally I can make the lick sound good with less gain on the amp. I can get a bigger sounding note and everyone's happier. Um, but it's definitely important to try and get as much force as you can into each one of those fingers and get them feeling as independent as possible.